And I think some people are still really confused or you know, just fascinated about how this process works and especially how testosterone works. So I'm going to show you. All right, so what happens? You start in a female body and you start to take hormone injections and you take these injections and they're injected into the buttocks about every two to four weeks. And what can happen is they're gonna start to change those sexual char characteristics like you're gonna start to get male pattern hair growth. So you're gonna start to get hair growth, it's gonna stimulate the hair follicles, you're gonna get male hair growth on the face and on the chest, on the legs and the arms, all over the body. Then you may also get a second puberty, you may also start to form some acne as well as changes in your mood. You might get more aggressive. You might actually experience some depression. This is all because of hormones. Men have so much more of that testosterone. It can also affect the vocal cords. The vocal cords can start to thicken and that can cause that deepening of voice. So you start to sound more like a man. And what also can happen is that muscle. Muscle starts to build and that can actually make the fat redistribute so it goes away from the hips and the buttocks and the thighs like a woman. So that gives you that shape of a man. And then what can also happen is it can affect the menstrual period. It can also affect the clitoris and cause it to be larger. Um, it can also increase libido. So it can start to change uh, your, your sexual characteristics, again, more towards a male pattern. And you can also change your appearance outward physically by cutting your hair and getting a double mastectomy like Thomas did. So you, all these things can happen with a testosterone injection. So even though everything inside is still female, the outside starts to get male, and that's what testosterone does. But one of the interesting things when we talk about hormones today is that you had the mastectomy, and so you weren't able to breastfeed, right? That's right. I, I wasn't able to breastfeed because I no longer had the milk ducts. Mm -hmm. And my wife, she breastfed our children. She went through a process called induced lactation. She took uh, some drugs and some... Um, herbs, and she was able to bring her milk in. So she breastfed all three of her children for um, the first three to six months of their lives.